essentially what I get out of it personally is more creative thinking because if you meet with TDs, with MPs, members of the Welsh Assembly, uh, members of the Scottish Parliament and members of these other assemblies in Nile Man and Jersey and Guernsey, if you meet them regularly then A you establish good political relationships but B I just invariably find unless you take yourself out of the maelstrom of local political activity for a couple of days and present yourself uh, to hear new ideas like we're only after listening there till uh, a Welsh Deputy Minister with responsibility for skills uh, Mr John Griffiths and he gave a brilliant list of things that the Welsh Assembly have been doing to assist business through the recession and I just thought to myself there's added value and I'll certainly feed that back, uh, back into the system back home you know for example through my party structure I'll certainly be drawing their attention to the Welsh response to the recession and does the assembly response to the recession match up are there any new ideas that might emanate uh, so I would speak to typically office of the first minister deputy first minister political advisors about a thing like that uh, just to check if everything that can be done is being done and it's a great idea to borrow new ideas where you might find them also I think the vexed issue of languages and uh, language promotion and language enhancement and uh, legislation to promote and protect indigenous languages or minority and regional languages and my particular interest is the Irish language I think here in Wales we've found a better context to try to depoliticize the language debate and it's very useful to hear Plaid Kimru members here insisting on speaking in Welsh and insisting that uh, provision is made for simultaneous translation so that uh, more time isn't taken up when you have to translate for everybody present so there's a lot of cross reference a lot of relevance here and uh, good ideas I'm here to try and listen out for good ideas essentially that's why I'm here I mean ironically I look forward to the establishment of the North South Parliamentary Forum but for a number of years now this ironically has been the best platform for me the best forum for me to meet TDs from my own country from neighbouring constituencies there is a kind of a, a context for meeting TDs for, and senators from Donegal and Monaghan who live so close to me and yet there hasn't been to date an institutional mechanism for bringing us together to talk about essential north-south issues sure. all Ireland issues so so even this east-west structure was a backdoor to a north-south array for me I mean I, I feel good about the the questions to ministers because that has been a mechanism for moving things along. I'll give you an example. Good. I remember asking a question about the review of public administration and how educational psychologists weren't applying for jobs in the education and library boards because of the change in education administration. And apparently these were called vacancy control measures in the civil service where short-term contracts were only being offered. I asked a question of the Minister for Education to make an exception in terms of RPA vacancy controls measures for the recruitment of educational psychologists. I remember putting the question in and the answer came back to me within days. We have now reviewed vacancy control measures with respect to the recruitment of educational psychologists and yes we're going to lift them in these exceptional circumstances. I contacted uh, a number of educational psychologists in the Western Education Library Board area. They said they'd been at a meeting of their, their, their professional uh, group that week and there was no mention of that. I said it's only coming through now in the form of a ministerial answer and they were delighted that they had brought this issue to my attention in the first instance. So things do move. You know, um, I would love a question put into the 2011 census, right? So far, Nigel Dodds, when he was Minister for Finance and Personnel, he resisted this. I'm going to ask Sammy Wilson the same question. Maybe he's more courageous than Nigel Dodds. I want a question put into the 2011 census, which asks people in the north of Ireland, what is your constitutional preference for the future? That's what I want. Because don't be afraid of the people. People will have their say. 
I want people to be invited to state their opinion in 2011 as to where they see their constitutional future. I think the writing will be on the wall. I think that people should be preparing for a new Ireland which uh, controls its own affairs. I emphasise the point that it's a small country, small island of 6 million people and uh, it should only have one uh, economy. Of course there can be regional variations and all of that but the vision I uphold is one that Ireland shall take its place among the nations of the world and that the unionists will enjoy significant influence in a new Ireland far greater than they did in the United Kingdom.